everyone, this is Nuo Cart. This is my newest custom track, Mushroom Peaks. It's a remake of the original Mushroom Peaks made by Mr. Bean and Chatters for Mario Kart Wii. Mushroom Peaks is infamous for its insane difficulty and somewhat unfair jumps. It's also pretty hated by uh, most of the Mario Kart Wii community due to its inclusion in the biggest mod pack and the higher ups refusing to take it out despite what the majority of people want. But despite that, it's still very iconic, and I thought it would be funny to put it into Mario Kart 8, especially with how these mushrooms work. So the mushrooms in Mario Kart 8, they give you barely any height, like they work so differently to Wii, so I couldn't keep the original mushroom layout. So I tried to keep the two paths kind of like similar with like the branches there, but I made the mushrooms bigger because otherwise it was just impossible to navigate it. And you can see the fast path appears here as well. You don't need a mushroom to do it like you meant to in the um, original one. It's just like a straight line, but it's really hard to go straight on Mario Kart 8 because just like, again, the mushroom for things, if you're off even by a little bit, it's very hard to correct yourself. Despite that, I think the rest of this actually works better in Mario Kart 8. For example, this jump doesn't fling you really high, you actually keep some momentum going. I did need to add some extra mushrooms so you could cross these gaps because Mario Kart 8 just isn't fast enough. I could've just scaled the model down, but it feels like the right scale, you know? Like, it looks okay. And some of the jumps feel great. For example, going off this boost onto the mushroom feels just like it does in the original. Now, there are some issues with the track as it stands now. For one, I was unable to improve the boost panel texture. It just kept crashing when I did that for some reason. Second of all, there's a bit of a respawn bug over here. Uh, sometimes when going across the section, it just can't you out of bounds randomly and I'm not sure why. It looks like I'm gonna make it though. And I put a bunch of coins there as a reward. I do wonder though, because of how the mushrooms give you less height and more speed, I'm wondering if that left path is faster now, especially since it's kind of difficult to make this turn without hitting the wall in uh, 8. But overall, considering this was something I initially just made as a joke, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. So the course goes over Shy Guy Falls, and there's my incredible course icon. <laughs> so the mushroom platforms are taken from GBA Sky Garden from the booster course path. Up until this point, I think people have been trying to use like bouncy flowers from DK Jungle and stuff like that. Now, the original Mushroom Peaks is actually three laps, and I was gonna make it three laps to be faithful to that. I knew it would be a long trek, but because of how the mushrooms move so slowly in places, I decided it was probably better just to make it two laps, because even on 200cc, we're getting laps over a minute long. Three laps of that on 150 or even 100cc would be way too much, so I made it two laps as a compromise. Really, it should really be like one lap, but... I also thought it would be funny if I made the respawns faithful to the original, so I actually, it actually took a lot more effort to intentionally make the respawns suck. So I fall off over here on purpose, you're gonna see it's gonna, uh... It just takes me all the way back here. That's what it does in the original, if you fall off at the end of the shortcut, it just it takes you all the way here. And you see now I've respawned, I'm locked out of tricking, so I'm just slowly bouncing across. So I put a bunch of coins over here, because I wasn't really sure how to make it worth it. That double boxes as well in versus. But yeah, that's my Mushroom Peaks remake. Uh, <laughs> feel free to try it out if you dare. And I guess I'll see you around. Goodbye.